been over a decade since gambling was legalized in Pennsylvania, and David Yonkai from the LULAC Political Letter is here today to talk more about it's success. David, it's good to see you. Happy to be here. Thank you. So it's amazing. You know, we're in the second decade now of legalized gambling in Pennsylvania. What do you think so far? Has it been the success that it was promised to be? Well, in terms of the initial success, you had a lot of building going on. It actually saved the racing industry. And the ancillary uh, businesses around the casinos have done pretty well. So from an economic standpoint, it has done very well to establish itself as a competitor on the East Coast. Now we've seen the uh, casino give uh, revenue back to communities through needed grants and programs. What's uh, what's the story here? Any changes you would like to see in the way that's done? That's a wonderful thing. You have a lot of townships, a lot of cities and different um, towns that would, would need help in terms of uh, financing, you know, their governments. Uh, but the thing is, um, nonprofits are a big source of uh, the revenue um, gaming commission money that they get. It's a wonderful thing that they have. The only thing that I would change is I don't think a profit-making company should get gaming grant money. I think if it's a private business, the private business should actually, if they want to buy a building, if they want to move someplace, they should handle it themselves. All of the gaming money should actually go for nonprofits or for developments of uh, the towns. Now, David, a lot uh, was promised by politicians, lawmakers, the governor at the time, in terms of um, you know things that were going to happen with the gambling. So, what do you think? Did, did it work out the way that that was promised? Well, it was sold as property tax relief, and for low-income senior citizens, they did get property tax relief. But that amount of people in the state was pretty much minuscule. Um, in terms of true property tax relief for people who have homes and are are, are paying the burden on property taxes and school taxes. It really wasn't the um, opportunity that was presented. I think that, um, as an example, uh, if you're living in the Dallas School District, I think the relief is only like $50. And if you have a uh, tax bill, sometimes it's offset by the local school district. So it wasn't all it was cracked up to be in terms of total tax relief for property taxes. And you hear a lot of people talking about that because that was the initial big promise that the gambling revenue would make a huge difference uh, when it comes to your taxes for property, but uh, that hasn't happened so far. But now, we're not done with the gambling just yet. There's a move now for online gambling. What's going on there, and how might that change things as we know them? Well, that's a good revenue stream. The governor sees it as a revenue stream. So does the legislature. What is happening, though, with online gambling is, is that it was first proposed in 2013, and it's driven primarily by poker online gambling. And while it would be a good revenue stream, there are people nervous about it because you have, first off, it might compete with the, the, the casinos that are in place right now. The governor is afraid that it might compete with the lottery. And then um, there's also that fine line where the credit card companies are nervous because, let's face it, there are more enthusiastic gamblers among us who might not be able to, um, you know, control themselves in terms of their economic stability. So uh, I think credit card companies are a little bit worried about that. Uh, it's up for another vote. Last time they tried it was 2013. We'll see what happens. But as I said previously on this program, sometimes um, Harrisonburg moves glacially. And so what happens from here, David? What are some of the challenges that lie ahead outside of the online issue? Competition through uh, neighboring states and also you don't, that they also want to make sure that they don't cannibalize all the different aspects of gambling. All right, now, for those that want to find out more about not just uh, your thoughts on casino gambling, but a lot in the world of politics, your letter has something to check out, isn't yes, it? Yes, lulacpoliticalletter.blogspot.com. We have a local election coming up. Hope people get out and vote. All right, David Yonkai from the Lulac Political Letter, thank you so much for your insight. Happy to be here. Thanks. Let's